just got done uploading the intro video to a whole new world of living in the Jeep. I guess it's not a whole new world, just moving back into the Jeep. So suddenly everything is better in life because I'm in the Jeep now. Barely doing anything special living in the Jeep, but it's just the fact I'm here. She still needs a lot of work. This whole glass needs replaced. Got to figure that out. Um, waiting till tomorrow I'm supposed to get basically a payday and I'm gonna order a lot of crap uh, so I'm gonna tomorrow when I get money uh, there's a lot of stuff I need to order I really want to change things up originally when I started the road trip I had imagined going on these adventures and I had like an exact image in my head of what those adventures would be like and how I was going to be super creative. I really wanted to get into filmmaking and cinematography and learning all those things. Weirdly enough, having Kai with me just made everything harder. It was harder to stay organized. It was harder to keep things clean. I had to be careful where I placed things so he wouldn't destroy them. You know, like even where my camera is right now, I wasn't able to do this because of Kai. Working around him was a lot harder than I was expecting. And now that he's not here, I'm going to be able to do some things that I wanted to do like when I started this trip and stuff. So I want to try to get those things organized. So there's some stuff I need to order. Also though, I got a logo in case you didn't notice. And so I need to order some of my own merchandise. I'm going to be ordering stickers, like a buttload of stickers. That way I can have my own personal stickers and I want to have them like on hand so if I meet any of you guys personally I can just give them away for free. You know, you know, stuff like that. I will also have stickers though like in the link of the description if anybody wants to order some t-shirts or merch or whatever. I have two logos now thanks to Bruce. <laughs> Bruce over here gave me and Sean both the ability to have Photoshop and Premiere Pro and stuff and neither of us know anything about Photoshop so we just ask him to do all our work for us. <laughs> anyway, um... So yeah, plans for today. There are plans for today, actually. <sighs> hi, hi. Hi, puppies. Hey, Sissy, it's me. Hi. Hi, I know you don't have balls. Sissy, Sissy, Sissy. What, do I need to give you a treat? So you stop freaking out? What's wrong? Dude! Stupid dog. My aunt's dog is a little scaredy cat. So when I walked in, she just flipped out and had an accident. You! You're annoying. Look at you. Okay, you're kind of cute. You're still annoying. Hey, calm down. It's <laughs> You act like you don't know who I am. Yeah, it's me. Ew, stop licking me. Nova, I never thought I'd say this, but I actually like you more this time. Did you get a haircut? Like okay, so basically, long story short, my aunt's baby went to the hospital yesterday. Um, I guess he was dehydrated, he wasn't eating, he kept getting sick, and most of my family has a stomach flu right now, so... They assumed it was just that, but my other aunt is a doctor or a nurse or someone who works in the hospital, I don't really know. Anyway, she suggested that he they take him to the hospital, you know, just in case it's something else. And apparently it's a good thing that they did because he actually did have something else. I forget what it's called, but it's something wrong with his intestines. They ended up um, having to do surgery on him yesterday. And so he's still recovering. I don't even think he's a year old yet. So he's like baby baby, even though he's like, you know, He's like this big, but uh, he's still like a baby, baby. So they are in Lubbock right now. It's about an hour and a half away or so. So they're up there right now with the baby. And so my aunt asked me if I can watch their dogs and just, you know, hold the fort, I guess, here at their house. And uh, yeah, yeah, day after I decided to live in the Jeep and boom, I'm in a house with all the luxuries of having a house. So I guess that was kind of a buzzkill, but I don't know. While I'm here though, I'm gonna take advantage of having an oven. I'm gonna go get a pizza later, but not right now, later. For now, I wanna make hot wings. I had an idea the other day, and so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna to have to clean up my mess, cause it's probably gonna be a big mess, but I'm gonna experiment, and we're gonna see if this works out. Uh
This looks amazing. But I can't get a hold of my aunt because she's working. So I can't go to their house to get blue cheese dressing, my other aunt. And I was talking to my uncle, but I guess he got busy too. So I don't have the pin to get in their house. I'm trying to get it because I left blue cheese dressing in there, which I need for hot wings. I need blue cheese dressing. And I think I'm the only person in my family who likes blue cheese because no one else has it. Look at that. All right, we're going to try it without dressing, see if it's good. I'm going to find out it's undercooked. I probably should peel it apart before I eat it. Look out. These are awesome. Definitely 10 out of 10. Would recommend. The hot wings were amazing, but they were a little bit frozen, so when I put them in the oil, it just exploded everywhere, so now I have a mess to clean. Goal is to just make it so like my aunt doesn't find out how bad it was until after she sees this video. That's the plan, just clean everything. <laughs> I act like I'm one of those people who likes reading books, but uh, I'm actually thinking about getting this one. I looked it up. It is one of the best-selling survivalist books, and it's got a lot of information in it. I'm usually really not into books and stuff like that, but I just think that this one would be a really good one. So I definitely would like to get into reading. It would give me something to do, and uh, you know, like I said, I want to get into survival stuff, so. You know, might as well start reading about it now. I think we're gonna get it. Check it out, guys. I got two books. Got the SAS Survival. What does SAS stand for? Anyway, third edition. I don't know what what it. Survival book. Thick survival book. I'll be reading up on this. I also got this though. Into the wild. I actually had one of my subscribers, I think, maybe even one of my Patreon supporters, I don't remember who, but somebody reached out to me and told me I should look into this guy, said it actually reminded me a lot of him, and I have to agree. When I looked up this book online, because I couldn't find it in the store, so I just bought it online and had someone else go and find it, I was reading the reviews on it, and that actually, most of the reviews on this book about the guy who, you know, this is actually a true story, and a lot of the... Reviews on the book that I read on Barnes & Noble sound a lot like my comment section. Oh, this guy, he's stupid and he just wants to go on his adventures for free. He's just a spoiled brat and he wants to go on adventures. Go to Alaska. He doesn't want to live a normal life. He doesn't work a normal job. Blah, 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 blah. So that's pretty much all the comments on this and that's that's what I got out of that. So, gonna be reading that. And this, make my mama proud because she likes when I read stuff for some reason. I guess people who read things are supposed to be smarter than people who don't. So I guess forget everybody with dyslexia. Thank you.